Welcome back to a new episode here in Suave. In today's episode, as you have seen in the title and the intro, I am going to show you how you can use alpha mats or video mats in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, what are video mats or alpha mats? They are basically pre-made videos that have like different sort of like a two color, sometimes a few different shades of them that allow you to sort of create different effects or transitions that you can use in pretty much any software since they are mostly mp4 files so yeah so let me just show you i have like over 200 here from a project that i did last year uh yeah so i still have to think what am i gonna do with all of these i might add them as a bonus for people that purchase the theta transitions pack maybe you can check the link down below for that if you're interested but without further ado let's just get right into it and i'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this and to use it so we're gonna go there's a more complicated way, which is using it here and then adding it at the made from here using the um, add to media pool as mat. But we're not going to use that way because that makes it a little bit more complicated and you cannot really preview what you're working with when you do it that way. OK, so let me just bring two clips right here. And like that. We get a little bit longer, doesn't really matter. And first of all, so we're going to go and okay, so let's say we want to use this one. So the easiest way is if you already have these in your power bins, then you don't have to do it through the media pool. Right now I'm seeing it as they are in the folder in my actual computer. So we're just going to drag these and it's going to add it to our media pool. So we're going to go here. Okay, so then we have it, the triangles one that we chose here. We're going to drag it here just so we know what length it has. And then we're going to bring our other clip here and then we're going to cut it. Then we can get rid of this triangle that we have here and we're going to select this top one that we have and we're going to go to the color tab. Here in the color tab, usually if you do the more complicated way, you will have to go here and then add the mat and it will show up here. But this way you cannot really preview which one you want. So here you can preview it and if you drag it in, it will directly add it as a mat into your uh, color tab nodes right here so we can get rid of this part right now and let me just zoom out because it's way too zoomed in and we're gonna do this you're gonna drag this arrow from here and then we're gonna add an alpha output sometimes it works easily this way you simply just connect it like that here and then it does the trick and in this case it does do the trick and it works perfectly right now so let's go back and see how it looks like So yeah, so that's pretty much how you go about using alpha mats or like dynamic mats or whatever you want to do with them. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities and cool things that you can do with them. So yeah, let me know that down in the comments if I should add these as a bonus for the Thea Transitions pack that's on the website. Uh, and yeah, so that is pretty much for today's video. It's a pretty quick tutorial, basic tutorial, interesting effect, I guess. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy it and I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.